Hey guys, Meteorologist Arnold, Chris Tomer here with this Sunday mountain weather update. Today is another big powder day in a lot of locations, but uh, you might be asking, well, what is next? So the big storm that dropped 20, 30, 40 inches of snow is moving away. This is the next storm that is coming in from the west, and this one will run through the west today, tomorrow, and into the morning of the 18th. And then there's another storm system behind this. But notice on radar, you've got some rain and snow across California, thin plume extending out into parts of Idaho, and it's going to take aim on Jackson and the Tetons and eventually the Wasatch as uh, today wears on. So you've got additional snow coming with this and a lot of these places. Snow up in the Pacific Northwest, B.C., up in the parts of Montana. So our previous storm, the big one, is now out here moving through the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and up into the Northeast with moderate to heavy snowfall. Look at that band of snow um, rolling through Ohio. There's an ice line with it. Snow across a lot of upstate New York. Snow into Vermont, New Hampshire, and eventually Maine. So it's going to be a snowy day at a lot of the ski areas of the Northeast. Here's the setup across the West. So on water vapor, you've got your drier air and the oranges and reds, and then your moisture is in the, uh, the whites and the blues. So You've got an area of low pressure spinning here, and it's sending this energy in to the Intermountain West as we speak. Pacific Northwest, BC, Intermountain West. That's the wave that's going to roll across a lot of the Intermountain today, tomorrow, and into the uh, early period of the 18th. Then behind it, there's another big storm system for 219, 220, and 221. And that one looks to be major at this point with a lot of snowfall across the west so we've got storm systems lined up here two within this seven to eight to nine day period and here are my bullet points so two additional storm systems the first one's happening now all the way through the 18th another the second one comes in 219 220 maybe into early 221 and throughout that second period that storm system will help to open up the floodgates for the pacific northwest and a lot of british columbia and even parts of northern Idaho and northwest Montana, I think we're going to see a lot of moisture kind of stream into that area. Um, here are my, uh, here's my snow timeline. Best odds of snow for Big Sky, the Wasatch, the Tetons, Colorado, Interior, BC, the Pacific Northwest, Tahoe, and the Northeast. So for Big Sky, you've got moderate to heavy snow coming tomorrow into 218, and then moderate to heavy 219, 220. So two different storm systems. In the Wasatch, you've got some snow coming. I showed you that on radar today. Could be moderate. And then light tomorrow. And then here comes that heavy batch with the second storm system, 219, 220. Tetons, you've got snow coming today through tomorrow into the 18th. And it looks like a steady stream of heavy snow once it sets up. And then you've got an additional shot of light snow, light to moderate snow on 219. In Colorado, light this afternoon into tonight and then light to moderate 217 218 and then heavy 219 220 i'm not going to go through all the rest but you can see the potential up in the northeast you've got heavy snow today i showed you that on radar let's drill down a little bit here into the wasatch this is alta utah forecast mediagram at about 9,000 feet so it brings in that snow uh this afternoon tonight and it kind of runs it through the day tomorrow and becomes very light this is forecasting about 9 10 inches of snow out of this this wave coming through and then what you don't see on here is that storm for roughly 219 220 somewhere in there so that's off this chart that's going to produce significant accumulations so <clears throat> let's look at temps so today the temperatures rise to about 23 24 um, and then tomorrow eh, around 21 22 and then they do turn colder on Tuesday and then of course you've got that next storm system coming but each and every day the winds appear to be gusty 30 to 35 maybe 40 miles per hour okay let's take a look at uh, Wyoming Jenny Lake Wyoming up there this is at about uh, 8600 feet and man this looks good I mean look at the snow production on this model it has moderate to heavy snow all the way through the end of the 18th and like I said in my forecast, in the forecast timing, there's even some light to moderate snow that comes in on the 19th, so on the very tail end of this. But man, the next few days in the Tetons look outstanding. And this forecasts almost 36 inches, so basically three feet through the 19th. 
Uh, winds are going to be gusty, 40 to 50 miles per hour. Air temps today at about 21, tomorrow at about 20, and then they fall into the teens and singles on the 18th. So that's that corridor from about Jackson Hole ski area up just north of, uh, of the Grand Teton. And it's looking outstanding. In Colorado, Steamboat could be one of the places. The Northern Mountains could be one of the places that get the most accumulation uh, with the stream of moisture really sending packages into the uh, packages of moisture into the Northern Mountains. Steamboat, Buff Pass, Cameron Pass, Mount Zirkel, um, all those areas. And you can see it. I mean, we're looking at a wall of green over the next 72 hours. Um, solid. So you're looking at a 72-hour forecast. You read it from right to left and the moisture just keeps coming through all the vertical layers. So heavy snow production on the way. Jet stream forecast. It's up at about 30,000 feet jet stream level. So what I'm looking for here are the stronger winds at jet level, the oranges, the reds, the tans, because that's what's really guiding these storm systems around the globe, around the country. Um, so let's just start at lunchtime today. All right, so you've got the big storm up in the northeast. You can see the dip in the jet there. Now, in the Pacific Northwest, here comes our next... Well, there's a little storm passing through the in the west today, but here we go. There it comes. There's uh, lunchtime on the 17th. There goes our little storm system. You can see it crossing Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado um, through lunchtime on the 18th, and then it moves out into the plains where it becomes another storm potentially for the northeast. All right, so here comes our larger storm system. This is late on the 19th. Look at the dip in the jet, the trough developing with this storm system across the Pacific Northwest, BC, Montana, Idaho, uh, Utah, Wyoming, and eventually Colorado. Here's early on the 20th. It digs its way through. And then the pattern, you can kind of see these little ripples running into the Pacific Northwest. The flow really favors the Pacific Northwest through about the 23rd with heavy precip heavy rain and snow, and that's going to blow up into interior BC as well and probably run down the hill into Banff as well. I think there's be, there'll be some, some, some fair amount of accumulation down in the Banff sunshine area. So there's late on the 22nd. Look at that jet stream firing up there in the Pacific Northwest like a fire hose up there through the 23rd. Okay, so lots of action. Okay, as far as snow accumulation over time, so on this map, your light blues are going to be your lightest accumulations. I'll start this at lunchtime today, under 3 inches. Greens are 3 to 6, yellows are 6 plus, reds are 10 plus. So two storm systems going on simultaneously today. One in the northeast, one in the Pacific Northwest, trying to run down into the Intermountain. Here we are late today. The snow travels down through the Tetons, the Wasatch, into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Continues. This is uh, lunchtime on Monday continues. There is uh, lunchtime on Tuesday, and then it finally moves out into the plains where it becomes another storm system to be dealt with for the Midwest and the East. This is early on Wednesday the 19th. Look to the Pacific Northwest. Here comes our next storm system. This is late on the 19th. Snow all the way down, running through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and into Colorado. There's uh, lunchtime on the 20th. A little bit of leftover snow behind it. And then look at the 21st, late on the 21st. Look at all the snow happening up there in BC, parts of the Pacific Northwest, with that rich flow. And there's another wave into the 23rd for many of the same spots. Okay, my official forecast uh, all of today through the 23rd. We'll start in the Wasatch, basically one to two feet or more. Higher end totals are going to be uh, up in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. And the Tetons, basically two to three feet of accumulation from Grand Targhee all the way over to uh, Jackson Hole. Rich flow next, basically next 72 hours. And in Colorado, your biggest numbers are in the northern mountains, but even along I-70, we could be looking at 8 to 16 inches of accumulation. From Snowmass to Aspen to Crested Butte, all the way down through Vail Pass into Summit County and up on the Continental Divide. Less snow in the southern mountains, but those numbers actually look pretty good. Six to ten inches of accumulation, including northern New Mexico. What you see in the in the Sierra, not terribly impressive, but uh, maybe five, six inches around Tahoe, ten up around Shasta. Pacific Northwest, a lot of the accumulation that you see there and in BC comes very late in the period. Uh, once that rich flow establishes, uh, late in the period, we could be looking at two, three, 
four, maybe four feet in a couple of spots there. And interior BC, maybe one to two feet of accumulation. And some of that runs down into Sunshine, Marmot Basin. Um, central to northern Idaho does well. Northwest Montana does well. So looking at a good flow with two storm systems through the 23rd. Up in the northeast, uh, probably 8 to 12 inches through Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine will do it. You had a storm today, and then there's one more down the road. Uh, in New York State, probably 10 around Snow Ridge and about uh, 13 for, for Whiteface. Okay, here we go. Um, we'll end on the western map and still looking at good snow, guys. Enjoy it. Be safe out there. And we'll keep things updated here. And have a great day.